Hello everyone, we've season 24 over, it's now time to discuss the next season ahead of us. Season 25. Or is it a batch? I, I don't know and I'm too lazy to find out. So naturally, with all the matchups that we know could happen, let's talk about all the matchups that we could potentially see in the next season. Naturally, since we are still in the Kickstarter phase, we are going to be talking about primarily matchups that people are asking for. Whether or not these are liked is up to you. However, since Death Belt is still in the Kickstarter phase, they will likely be using more matchups in order to help get them more revenue. Even though Bowser vs. Eggman gave enough green they got an entire spot in the Meme Hall of Fame, and Bardock vs. Omni Man had the series come back with an episode so controversial, I'm surprised Twitter didn't cancel it. So, with that, let's begin with a matchup that's already confirmed, as this next season is going to give us episode 200. This matchup is also from the Kickstarter Rewards, which isn't exactly the best news, but hey, it could be Ruby vs. Maka to live on in Rooster Teeth's legacy after that fiasco, so I'll be excited for- I really need to stop asking for nice things in life. Ash vs. Yugi is a matchup that is very well liked in the community, and is definitely deserving to happen for some monster anime catching dynamics. The dynamic can also be fun, as Yugi keeps launching trap cards for Ash can't buy back whatsoever. Before I find out about with Pikachu versus an Egyptian god that Pikachu is absolutely getting no dipped against, because what the hell is he meant to do? But well, Pikachu can win via scaling to Cynthia in front of a goddamn Palkia. But the fact that scaling chain even exists is so brain dead, it makes me question why I'm even bothering with this section. I've also been told many times that me wanting the Pokemon series to be represented well is boring. My favorite series being represented well is boring. I hate the rule of cool. I did not mention that every time I see this matchup get hyped it's because of something you you're related. Because that's just so good as someone who doesn't fucking care for it! I don't like Ash vs. Yugi. But yeah, it's confirmed episode 200. So, it is 100% happening next batch. Not much I can really do there. Oh, and if you thought that's all the matchups I dislike, did you forget at one point there's going to be a bonus episode? And it's a matchup that I think is boring as sin? Can you tell that me starting a list negatively starting to become an Ipa Trooper stable? Fight vs. Columbo. What's the appeal to this? Liam, what's the appeal? I demand to know! Huh? Huh? Uh, what, what does that mean? Uh, I, I don't speak trumpet. As someone who generally dislikes most intelligence matchups outside of the one we are definitely not getting based! I am naturally just not excited for the episode. If it wasn't for my friends who are very base, I probably wouldn't even watch this secret episode. Secret? It's a bonus episode. I meant the same thing. No, thank you for that one, Mr. Cat. Shut up! I'm listening to Pink! But, like, what more can I say here? It's just not a genre I like, which. I'm sure it's a problem for a lot of people, under different matchups. Now, let's talk about matchups that are very likely to happen from the Kickstarter campaign. I really doubt they're going to do all the remaining matchups in this during this season, since there's 10 matchups they haven't been done, including the two that we already mentioned. So I will be selecting three choices here. First is... Please don't make me talk about this series again. Gage is probably as hell, so I see it. That's it. That's all I really want to go into here. I don't like this matchup. I really don't want to discuss Genshin. I have a rocky history that makes talking about it really infuriating. Best for understanding that, it's better than most people I've ever talked to. The next matchup that I wanted to talk about is Simon vs. Kyle, mainly for its popularity as a general matchup. I think you could apply this to Kratos vs. Ashura too, but like, that's not really my point here. Well, it is, but like, uh. I think this one's more likely, so shoot. Now, I generally don't really care for this matchup all that much, as three of you know. I generally think the best DC versus non Marvel matchup is Constantine versus Rhino. Because me and the DC detective have the same birth defect if the voice didn't give that away clearly enough. I had Simon vs. Cal at the shortest section when it came to talk about it in the Kickstarter and new list in detail. Not only because I didn't really care about it, but also because I couldn't really make up anything funny about it. Which is surprising, because I could make an entire funeral session funny. Ah, uh, hey, I'm sorry that your student passed away, Mr. Smith. But hey, at least your student passed something, right? You need to leave! Tough crowd, I guess. But yeah, with the popularity of this matchup, I could definitely see it happening this season. The final matchup that I wanted to mention for this section was my original bet for episode 200, Ruby vs. Maka. Even if it e isn't episode 200, with how well like the general matchup is, and given Rooster Team's legacy, I 100% see it happening for that reason alone. 
Also, please give me a sci-fi. That would be really amazing, please. But yeah, that's all I can really give. I just see this being really soon in season 25, the sheer legacy it has, combined with the legacy that Rooster Teeth itself has, after I accidentally blew up that building that one time. Honorable mention goes to Master Chief vs. Doom Guy's remake for the same reason. I just don't really care for it much, which is an objective, but at the same time, this is my list. I can write whatever I want to like, you little piece of shit. But I don't know if it's going to happen in season 25 as much as Ruby vs. Maka, which is why I shoved it with the honorable mentions. All of the rest of the neglected matchups in my basement. Alright, now I'm going to pick for my 50 Marvel vs. DC matchups list here, because there's still some popular ones. I could pick Mysterio Crow because it's not only the most popular, but it's also my favorite. But one, I want to be original for once in my life to forgive the time I blew up that building two weeks and four days ago. That was completely different to the Roof of Teeth one. But also, it's the only way I could get famous online in this community. And also, too, I am likely going to be told that putting either in forces is silly and dumb because they can't fight. I'm a GB head and I can still throw hands. So I was like, y'all need to man up. <laughs> okay, you know what? Fair point. So I'm going to go with... Uh... Which one to use? Babe vs. Craven! Wait, wait, I don't even get that matchup. Uh, Fuck it, Clayface vs. Sandman is my choice. I think the general dynamic of this matchup is pretty interesting, since despite Sandman AP something, he outright can't kill Clayface. So I want to see how that plays out. There's also other Marvel vs. DC matchups I know exist, but I don't know much about comics to even comment about them, or the general matchup itself, so I won't mention them for the sake of not waffling on for too long. Next up, Champion Poll. We already have three matchups in the 2D section, those being Bill vs. Discord, and even though I said something at the beginning, as of scripting, it hasn't released yet, but Fall Guys vs. Among Us is happening soon, and in the future we are going to get Simon vs. Kyle. So, which of the remaining 2D matchups is the most likely to happen in this season? Well, let's deduce this. This is either going to be general hype or legacy. First comes to shove, I'm going to go with legacy, since that appeals more towards... Casuals. Ugh, pff, I hate that word. So, because of that, the winner of this narrow race goes to Finn and Jake versus Mordecai and Rigby. The iconic duos from... Cartoon Network, at least I think I'm going to offend many people saying this, but I haven't watched either show in all honesty. But in general, this matchup is still really well liked, and it's either this or Captain America vs. Kamen Rider Ichigo. But as I said before, this is based purely on legacy of casuals, and despite how many thumbnails you see of the matchup, casuals don't really know what a Kamen Rider is. Hell, neither do I, despite seeing propaganda for it everywhere. I still don't know what it is, and I really don't care enough to find out. How I wish I could mention more of this is not, but realistically, that's the least likely of the remaining three left. <laughs> now, for 3D, Paul is a bit harder. We already got one of the matchups on there, and we're about to get another one. I have barely seen anyone ever defend C versus Emmett, and the defenses that I have seen of it are pretty bad. King Gridoria vs Deathwing is a matchup but I don't know the general hype for outside of a YouTuber shilling it. Wonder where I've heard that one before. We already have one Genshin matchup already, which makes this one pretty unlikely for this season. Maybe a few later ones down the line, they'll come back to this. And Spy vs Age of 47, I don't know how much people cover for this, but at the same time, fuck it, I'll go with it. I think it's still vaguely popular enough. I don't know, I still like it. I think it's the best option to choose from the 3D poll, but the rest either I just don't know the general opinion of, or it's just not the option to choose for the Kickstarter season. Now, it's time for the rapid fire round of Tribunal of Champions matchups and how likely they will be to happen. <gasps> oh, fucking Christ. Very likely, it's still very popular and I could 100% see them doing this given how well it did in the tournament. Same goes for this matchup here. I could see it. I still see some love for Short Course Society every now and again, and I'd appreciate it for bringing Xenoblade on the show, even if I prefer other matchups for the series. Maybe not. I don't see this matchup being a thing that casuals mention, and it's mostly respected in specific communities. Not to mention, I think it's going to be a while until we get another Sonic rep comes on, given how good Eggman vs. Bowser was. Boo vs. Mega Man is already happening, so I will mention it. 
Though I think it's possible this season, I'm not fully certain. Zeus vs Odin is a rocky situation, because I know people still really like mythological matchups, but how little I care for it, I don't know the general consensus around this matchup. That vs Evo could still happen depending on Nintendo news, given the Switch 2 and possible Smash Bros. topics could make it good for Mac, but besides that, I have no idea. It was the lowest voting matchup in the tournament of champions, and I've never seen casuals talk about it. That should answer your question. Moon vs Madoka is super likely, even I think Madoka killing the face of magical girls, the people she's trying to save is absolutely stupid. <laughs> Probably not this season, but a, a, a lot of people seem to like this matchup, even if I'm not one of them. I don't know how well liked Wolf vs Scorpion is in terms of casual sense, so I could see it happening, just not in season 2025. Why the fuck was this the lowest voted count again? Oh yeah, we have no standards. Anyways, no, I don't see them doing this until way later on, given the very poor reception. Tom vs. Wily is happy already. Hero at Baymax vs. Hiccup at 2 is already a matchup they expect to win the 4th round. However, since it didn't, uh, that might lower its ranking a bit. However, I wouldn't be surprised if they did this during Season 25. Sadfoot vs. Maxwell is still well liked and has insane creative potential. I could see them doing this later on during season 2025 if it did show up. Take what I said about Steve vs. Emmett and you can have the same problems with it that I have with that that I do with Luke vs. Saber. This time you just apply what I say about Emmett to what I say about Luke. And also the general hype for Luke vs. Paul and Zimmer vs. Key makes the likelihood of this happening happening even less. <gasps> Fucking Christ! Kratos vs. Ashra is already happening, and I think in this season too. Homer vs. Peter really depends on if they want to do another Hydra episode this season, because if Tom Wiley happens this season, then I doubt this is either a small price to pay for Hydra episodes. Jimmy vs. Dexter I find somewhat unlikely. I've not seen too many guys who talk about this matchup, and I don't think you got that many votes compared to Kratos vs. Ashra or Homer vs. Peter. Naruto vs. Luffy depends. It's either they're doing Luffy vs. Natsu or Fitz, Confirm since they confirmed they like Natsu vs. Luffy in a battle banter. But I don't see it happening in season 2025. I hate it. This is awful. I don't think I get a rope. This matchup is good, can we keep it? Hulk vs. Godzilla is already happening. Ellie vs. Clementine depends on if they want to do this, or Rick vs. Joel first. But either way, I don't see it happening just yet. Flake vs. Revy is still well liked among the fandom. I can see it, though I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I could definitely see this one coming soon. One of the most popular matchups I've seen. I'd be shocked if this didn't happen soon. Sans vs. Judge could definitely happen soon, since Among Us vs. Bold Guys means they are definitely looking more into indie franchises. So it's definitely something I'm going to be excited for if it does happen this season. Freddy vs. Pennywise is one of the most popular horror matchups out there. I definitely see them doing it this next season. If you dress up as the characters in the cast, the team really likes the matchup, so I could definitely see it. No idea. I could definitely see it since it's a bit popular, I just don't know if they would do the animation potential since it's either going to be 2D, high drawn, or even stop motion. <gasps> oh, fucking hell, that was a lot. But yeah, those are the tournament of champions matchups. Now, finally, general matchups. Because, uh, we still need to see how many matchups that are popular that could still happen that don't fit the other criteria. I will discuss five matchups here, purely based on how popular they are. Two Sonic matchups will go first. First is Knuckles' big two matchups. If I had to pick between the one of them that I'd see doing first, I'll go with Game Knuckles vs Piccolo. This matchup is still very well liked among people, especially the casuals, so I could see it happening. I'd also see it happen for the dynamic because, well, one, I'm confused with how the dynamic works because I've seen people say Knuckles wins. I don't know who wins. Don't don't at me. And uh, also, I just think that the hand-to-hand -hand stuff could be really interesting. Not as interesting as Juggernaut versus Archie Knuckles, but, you know, it could be a good boxing match. It could be better than, you know, that one. There's also Kyogre versus Chaos, which I don't see being anything but a 3D fight. So I believe that this is pretty likely, especially given how well like Bowser vs Eggman was, as well as the general appreciation for the Shadow vs Mewtwo cats, which shows Sonic vs Pokemon is still a serious combo people appreciate. Also, since this won't be a hand-drawn episode, that means the 3D team can actually have a chance at this, which I think makes it more likely since it doesn't follow the same, like, animation style, if you get what I mean. Dynamically and debatability-wise, it's also really fun, since people to this day will still argue for a Kyogre W, I am people. I will stand by that for the sake of my long lasting rivalry with my best friend, Rightful Truth. I think I can also see potential for Luigi vs Pac Man to happen next season too. Even though DJ said in a ballot banter he prefers Pac Man vs Felix the Cat, 
Respect my man right there. I love agreeing with people when I get the chance. Since this is still the most popular Luigi matchup by far, this is the most likely one they're going to use if Luigi ever came on the show. And will very likely gain traction thanks to casuals, which will make it very likely to have a next season. And also we will see how amazing Luigi is after how Bowser was treated in his episode, which I am not against even if I personally dislike this matchup. I could also definitely see Travis Touchdown vs Jack Kamen happening, since even today, I think it's really popular. No More Heroes is also still really popular from what I can tell, even if people prefer Scott Pilgrim for Travis, which it truly is a matchup, so I really don't care for it. And it happened but made me go from happy to... Also, from what I can gather, the team really isn't interested in it. They prefer... Scott versus Naoya from Fooly Cooly, so I don't think it's gonna happen, which is why I think Travis vs. Jack is still gonna happen regardless. But either way, I think Travis vs. Jack is still a really cool matchup for them to do, despite how nowadays Jack just kinda dies hard. And the final matchup I wanted to mention in this video is Ghost Rider vs. Spawn, because this matchup is one where I can say flat out, straight up, there are no enemies for it. No, really, I have not seen a single out of problems people have with the matchup. Zero. Zilch. None. As existent as me talking to a woman. That should tell you how well liked this matchup is amongst both casuals and general death battle fans. It also picks back sport after his last run in the Kratos in season 1, which had an episode that aged like... Well, it didn't age like wine because they both needed a run back, but it didn't age like milk because the episode on its own was still okay. It aged like a human being, just about the death and the funeral procession afterwards. This matchup would be really cool to bring in for season 25. And that's all I can really say about matchups that I wanted to discuss here. If there are any matchups that you want to mention, comment them down below and somebody in there too, please. Thanks. And uh, I'll see you all next time. <laughs>